Hello, beloved friends. Welcome back to our journey of faith and inspiration. Today, we're diving into a topic that resonates deeply with many of us, making decisions when we find ourselves at a crossroads in life. Whether it's a major life choice, a career path, a relationship decision, or a spiritual direction, the question we often ask is, which way is God's way? Before we dive in, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay inspired by our faith-based content. Let's get started. Before we delve into the practical steps, let's take a moment to center our hearts and minds in prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly come before your presence, recognizing your sovereignty and love. In this moment of quiet reflection, we seek your divine guidance and wisdom as we navigate the crossroads of life. Lord, open our eyes to see your signs along the path ahead. Help us discern your whispers amidst the noise of the world. May your Spirit speak clearly to our hearts, guiding us towards the path destined by your divine plan. Holy Spirit, illuminate our minds with your light of truth. Grant us clarity and understanding as we seek to align our decisions with your perfect will. Lead us, O Spirit, in the footsteps of Christ, our ultimate example of obedience and trust in God's guidance. In the name of Jesus, we pray for your presence to be palpably felt as we embark on this journey of discernment and decision-making. Amen. Main Content 1. Recognize the importance of seeking God's will. It's crucial to start by recognizing the profound importance of seeking God's will in our decision-making process. We must acknowledge that God's plan is infinitely greater and wiser than our limited understanding. Trusting in His guidance isn't just a choice but a foundational principle that shapes every aspect of our lives. When we seek God's will, we surrender our own desires and plans, recognizing that His purpose for us surpasses our own aspirations. This acknowledgement opens the door to divine wisdom and clarity, guiding us toward decisions that align with His greater plan for our lives. Trusting in God's guidance isn't passive, it's an active choice to align our hearts with His. As we delve into prayer, scripture, and seeking counsel from wise mentors, we lay a solid foundation for discerning God's will amidst life's crossroads. Remember, dear friends, the importance of seeking God's will isn't just about making the right decisions, it's about living a life that reflects His divine purpose and glory. Let's journey together as we explore how to discern God's will in every decision we face. 2. Pray for clarity and discernment. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God, a powerful tool that opens the door to clarity and discernment in decision-making. Engage in heartfelt prayer, not just as a routine, but as a sincere conversation with God, asking Him to reveal His will clearly. In prayer, we lay our concerns, hopes, and uncertainties before God's throne. We surrender our own understanding and invite His wisdom to illuminate our path. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness but a testament to our trust in God's perfect plan. As we pray for clarity and discernment, we invite God's Spirit to work within us, guiding our thoughts and intentions. We seek His wisdom to understand the options before us and discern the right path that aligns with His divine purpose. Prayer isn't just about asking, it's about listening. As we pray, let's also quiet our hearts and minds, ready to receive God's guidance and direction. Let's trust that He will make His will known to us as we seek Him earnestly in prayer. 3. Seek counsel from wise and spiritually mature individuals. Surrounding ourselves with wise and spiritually mature individuals is essential when navigating life's crossroads. These trusted advisors, grounded in faith and wisdom, offer valuable perspectives that can illuminate our understanding and guide us towards God's will. God often speaks to us through the wisdom and counsel of those He places in our lives. When we seek advice from individuals who are deeply rooted in faith and spiritual maturity, we gain insights that go beyond our own understanding. These trusted advisors not only provide guidance but also challenge us to see things from different angles, encouraging growth and discernment in our decision-making process. Their wisdom, gained through experience and a deep relationship with God, can be a beacon of light in our journey. Humility is key in seeking counsel. We must be willing to set aside our pride and listen with an open heart to the wisdom of others. Their perspectives can reveal blind spots and offer clarity as we navigate the complexities of decision-making. 
4. Align your decisions with God's Word. The Word of God is a timeless guidebook that illuminates our path and directs our decisions. Regularly consulting the scriptures and aligning our choices with biblical principles is essential in discerning God's will and living according to His divine plan. God's Word isn't just a collection of ancient teachings, it's a living, relevant source of wisdom that speaks directly to our hearts and circumstances. As we delve into its pages, we discover timeless truths and principles that provide clarity and direction. Aligning our decisions with God's Word isn't merely about following rules. It's about embodying the values and character of Christ in every choice we make. His teachings become a compass, guiding us toward decisions that honor Him and bless others. Let's make it a habit to consult the Scriptures regularly, not just for answers but for a deeper understanding of God's heart and His desires for our lives. As we align our decisions with biblical principles, we walk in the light of His truth, confident that His Word will guide us in every decision we face. 5. Listen to your inner peace. One of the most profound ways God guides us is through the peace or unrest in our spirit. This inner peace serves as a divine compass, signaling alignment with God's will or prompting us to reconsider our choices. Let's explore how we can listen attentively to our inner peace in decision making. Inner peace isn't just a fleeting emotion, it's a profound sense of alignment with God's purpose and plan for our lives. When faced with decisions, Pay attention to the quiet whispers of your spirit. Is there a deep sense of peace and assurance about a certain direction? That peace may be God's way of affirming His guidance. On the other hand, unrest or anxiety in our spirit can signal a need for further discernment. God may be gently nudging us to pause, seek His wisdom, and realign our choices with His perfect will. Cultivating inner peace requires intentional reflection and prayer. Take time to quiet your mind and listen to the still, small voice of God within you. Journaling your thoughts and feelings can also help clarify the source of inner peace or unrest. By listening attentively to our inner peace, we open ourselves to divine guidance and direction. Let's trust that God speaks to us through this inner compass, leading us toward decisions that honor Him and align with His greater purpose. 6. Wait patiently on God's timing. Patience is a virtue deeply rooted in faith, especially when it comes to making decisions. Waiting patiently on God's timing is not about passivity but about trusting in His perfect plan and timing, even when faced with uncertainty or pressure to make hasty decisions. Impatience and fear often tempt us to rush into decisions, seeking quick resolutions or avoiding discomfort. However, God's timing is impeccable and His wisdom surpasses our understanding. Trusting in His timing means surrendering our need for immediate answers and embracing His divine orchestration. Waiting on God's timing requires faith and resilience. It's a season of seeking His will earnestly, even if it means enduring a period of uncertainty. In this waiting, God is at work, aligning circumstances and preparing us for His clear direction. Let's resist the urge to rush ahead and instead embrace the waiting period as an opportunity for growth and deeper dependence on God. His timing is never late nor early but always perfect. As we wait patiently on God's timing, let's remember that His plans for us are always for our good and His glory. Let's trust in His wisdom and be willing to wait, knowing that His clear direction will come at the appointed time. 7. Submit your will to God's will. Surrendering our will to God's will is a fundamental principle in decision-making as Christians. It involves letting go of our desires and plans, submitting them to God's sovereignty, and trusting that His will is always for our ultimate good and His glory. Submitting our will to God's will requires humility and faith. It's a conscious choice to trust that God's plans far exceed our own, even when we may not fully understand His ways. In prayer, we lay our desires and plans at God's feet, acknowledging His wisdom and sovereignty. This act of surrender brings peace and clarity as we release the burden of control and embrace His divine guidance. Letting go of control and submitting to God's will doesn't mean passivity, it's an act of trust in His leading. As we align our hearts with His, we experience a deeper sense of peace and clarity in decision-making. Let's cultivate a heart of surrender and trust, knowing that God's plans for us are always filled with purpose and blessing. As we submit our will to His, we walk in His peace and clarity, confident that He is leading us on the path of righteousness. 8. 
Take practical steps with faith. Taking practical steps with faith is the embodiment of trust and action in response to God's guidance. It involves a strategic approach rooted in faith, where we actively participate in God's plan for our lives, believing that He is with us every step of the way. Practical steps begin with a clear vision and a plan of action. After seeking God's guidance through prayer and wise counsel, we map out practical strategies aligned with His will, trusting that He will guide us in the execution. Preparation is key in taking practical steps with faith. It involves gathering resources, acquiring skills, and cultivating a mindset of readiness to respond to God's leading. This proactive approach reflects our trust in God's provision and direction. Each step taken in faith is a testament to our trust in God's promises. It's a declaration that we believe He is faithful to guide us and fulfill His plans for us. Even in moments of uncertainty, our faith propels us forward with courage and confidence. Let's embrace a proactive faith that moves us from contemplation to action. As we take practical steps aligned with God's guidance, we experience His faithfulness in remarkable ways. Let's trust that He is working all things together for our good and His glory as we walk in faith. As Christians, we understand that challenges are an inevitable part of our journey. When we encounter obstacles or doubts about the decisions we've made, it's crucial to anchor ourselves in faith. Romans 8 verse 28 reminds us that all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to His purpose. This powerful truth resonates even at our crossroads, reassuring us that God's plan is constantly at work for our ultimate good. When faced with challenges, it's easy to question our decisions or feel overwhelmed by uncertainty. However, Romans 8 verse 28 serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us that God is orchestrating every detail of our lives for His purpose and our benefit. Our faith is tested and strengthened in the midst of challenges. Instead of succumbing to fear or doubt, we can choose to stand firm in the assurance that God is faithful. He can turn every trial into a stepping stone toward His greater plan. Let's face our challenges with unwavering faith, knowing that God's promises are true and His love never fails. Even when the path seems difficult, we can trust that He is with us, guiding us through every obstacle and leading us to a place of victory. Before we conclude, let's take a moment to express our gratitude to God for His unwavering guidance and constant presence in our decision-making journey. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your wisdom that surpasses all understanding and your direction that leads us on paths of righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for being our ever-present help in times of decision-making. Your faithfulness is our anchor, and your love is our assurance. As we navigate life's challenges and crossroads, may your light illuminate our paths, guiding us toward your perfect will. We commit our decisions, dreams, and desires into your hands knowing that you work all things together for good for those who love you. May the principles we've discussed today resonate in our hearts and lead us closer to fulfilling your purpose for our lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey of faith and decision-making. May God's blessings and guidance be with you always. Amen. Closing Prayer Heavenly Father, we come before you in gratitude for this time of reflection and learning. We thank you for guiding us through the principles we've discussed today and for your unwavering presence in our decision-making journey. Lord, we lift up each viewer, asking for your blessings of wisdom and courage as they navigate their own crossroads in life. May your Spirit lead them in making decisions that honor and glorify you, aligning with your perfect will and purpose. We submit our wills to your will, trusting in your divine plan for our lives. Guide us on the path of righteousness granting us discernment and clarity in every decision we face. May your peace reign in our hearts, knowing that you are in control of all things. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Remember, dear friends, God's way is always the best way. As you face decisions and crossroads in life, trust in His wisdom and guidance above all else. Seek His will earnestly through prayer, scripture, and wise counsel, knowing that He is faithful to lead you on paths of righteousness. Let your faith be your compass, guiding you through life's challenges and triumphs. Walk in faith, knowing that God is always with you, orchestrating every detail for His glory and your ultimate good. Thank you for joining us today on this journey of faith and wisdom. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content on navigating life's challenges with faith and wisdom. May God bless you abundantly and lead you on paths of righteousness until we meet again.